today's quote of the day. If you never try, you'll never know. Unknown. The fourth annual Suicide Prevention Walk is this year on September 9th. It'll be hosted in our Wildcat Stadium from 5 to 7 p.m. Come join the Plainfield community and help break the stigma surrounding mental health. Attention anyone interested in playing baseball this year. Today we'll have a short informational meeting in room B235. The meeting should last about 20 minutes and we'll be giving out dates and information for off-season workouts. See you then! The blood drive will be on Friday, September 15th during the school day. Sign up during lunch or study hall or see Mrs. Riley in D208. You must be 16 or older to donate. Homecoming dance tickets are on sale through GoFan until Sunday, September 17th. Date request forms for non-PCHS students can be found in the Dean's office and must be turned in and approved before you can purchase a guest ticket. No date requests are accepted at the door. Check your school email for ticket purchasing instructions. Hey, it's Fielder. This is Diego Cameron. I'm here today with Isabella. Isabella, and we're here to analyze her fit. Where'd it come from? Okay, so Harley Davidson shirt, Griffin, my pants, Empires, got them from Zoomies. My shoes, I don't know, they're like two years old. That's about it. Crusty Vans, it's alright. Give us a 360. Give us a 360. Yup. 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 We can get with that. W okay. fit. Back at it, we're with who? Logan. Logan? Logan who? A lot, a lot of, a lot of. All right, we gotta be better around here. All right. All right. But first question, what you got on today? All right, so you already know we got the Adidas hoodie. Um, this was like $5, about $5. These shorts, same place, $5. Oh, wow, this is from Playlist Plaza. This is also from Playlist Plaza. This was about $5 too. These socks, my mom got them, those socks, gifted. And these shoes were also gifted from my mom. So shout out to my mom, you know, she's the best. But this fit was probably like $10, $10 in total, budget fit, but you know, we stay yes, rocking, sir. we stay rocking the cheap. All right, we're back at it. What's your name today? You see no mood. What's your name tomorrow? You see no mood. What's your name in three years from now? Gone. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have on today? Cause I was quite intrigued when I walked into that classroom. I have a superior fine suit on. What about the shoes? Um, the Lincolns. <laughs> the Lincoln Force. Can we go ahead and pull this jacket off of you? Hold my microphone, cameraman. Let's take a look. Mm. Black lining, little dimples, short sleeve cut shirt. I mess with it. Do a little spin, 360. A 4D fit. <laughs> Can't do the last part. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, this fit is 80% uh, Old Navy, some Target, Goodfellow Co, I believe, and then Amazon Prime, Prime Day deals on the shoes. So where did you get your outfit from? Um, Old Navy. Where'd you get your, where, where'd you get your glasses? Um, Warby Parker. And your shirt? Old Navy. And your jeans? Also Old Navy. And your shoes? Um, Heads.com. Plainfield Central Tennis Program. Where's your outfit from today? Um, today my outfit, I got my Tay Tay Swift, shout out Taylor. I have my Nike shorts and my four year old Converse and my water bottle. We love the practicality of your outfit today. Thank you, thank you. Fit check. Sure from Walmart, pants from Goodwill, with the new rocks. I got this uh, nice fancy art uniform, courtesy of the U.S. Army. We're just about in the 62 red above normal temperatures again. 
Yeah. We have La Nina or El Nino going on right this now. This is actually the seventh and darkest shade of blue they got. Happy Friday, everybody. Another week. Got the sandwich fair coming up this weekend. Everyone's going in Sandwich, Illinois. Sort of a big deal. Anyway, um, as far as the weather coming up, the heat's gone. It's really sort of great news. This is the six to 10 day outlook. Notice we're in the actually third shade of blue. See, our average high right now is maybe 80, 80 I wanna say. Probably have a lot of 60s and 70s on the way, which of course, I mean, beautiful weather. Uh, and as far as any real impactful weather coming in the foreseeable week or two, no. So really, it's a nice few days on the way. So have a nice weekend, everybody. Happy Friday, Wildcats! An update from the cross-country team. They had the Wildcat Invitational last Saturday. The Varsity Boys took second overall, led by Tyler Schick's third-place finish. Harlan Matson was 14th, and Luke Adair was 19th. The Varsity Girls were led by Hannah Kilday's eighth-place finish, and the fastest time any PHS runner has run in 12 years. Bridget Kemp was also a medalist in 18th place for the girls. They had strong fourth place finishes Wednesday night from both Cyan Bradley and Ubaldo Rodriguez in a try me at Joliet West. The team is back in action tomorrow. Tonight, the Wildcats face the Panthers of Oswego. Varsity game starting at 7 p.m. Be sure to be there. It's going to be USA night, so you might want to bring something like, like this. I don't know. I found it at Party City. Speaking of varsity, both varsity teams, the Wildcats and the Panthers, are coming off of wins last week. The Wildcats are coming off a win against the Matia Valley Mustangs, 15-12, and the Panthers of Oswego High School are coming off of a win, 31-7, against Andrew High School Thunderbolts. You don't want to miss this one. It's going to be a good matchup tonight. Be sure to be there. Oswego High School, varsity game starting, 7 p.m. Hey Wildcats, did you know there is much more to the fielder than just the newspaper and video announcements? Be sure to follow us on Instagram by searching for at PCHS the fielder and see all of our latest posts along with checking out our story when we post. Have a Twitter account? We do too. Open the app, search for at PCHS the fielder and be sure to follow us. Don't forget to also turn on notifications so you never miss a post. Thank you for your support and have a great weekend Wildcats. Wildcats, before we bring this Fielder Friday to a close, we're all wanting to know, what is your favorite part of football season? Be sure to give your answer on the new poll on the website, thefielder.org. Results of the poll will be shown on next week's Fielder Friday. That's it for this one. Have a great weekend, everybody.